I was once in a police station waiting in a queue when the guy sitting next to me said, can I talk to you? I said, of course you can, and he told me his story. He told me that a few days previously, he'd had far too much to drink and had a huge row with his girlfriend. He'd said bad things, things he didn't really mean, and she dumped him and he felt absolutely terrible. That young man's life was in a real mess and he felt he had nowhere to turn, nowhere to go. I suppose most of us at some stage in our life go through moments like that, moments when our lives seem to be heading nowhere. That may be the result of a dead-end job or debt. It may be because of chronic pain or a sense of guilt. Whatever, at times like that, we just feel that we're in a mess. We've got nowhere to go. There's no future for us. Easter, though, tells us something different. Easter shows us that in Jesus, there is always a new start. Think for a moment about Mary on Good Friday evening, just after the body of her son had been laid in the tomb. That beautiful baby boy she'd once held in her arms, now a cold, lifeless corpse. She must have felt her life was in a real mess, felt utter despair that this was the end. Or did she? A poet called Margaret Louisa Woods once wrote a poem in which she tried to think how Mary must have felt on that Good Friday night. She wrote this. Hush, in her heart, which first felt the faint life stir in her son, perchance is apprehended even now new mystery. Grief less loud clamours. The resurrection has begun. A body left to rot in a tomb, yet from that place of death will spring new life, new hope, a new beginning. With Jesus there's no such thing as despair, only hope. No such thing as darkness, only light. No such thing as death, only life. The message of Easter is a very simple one. Jesus is alive. And if he's alive, we can be in contemporary friendship with him. And it's that friendship which can turn around our lives and offer us again and again a new beginning. When we sin, there is forgiveness. When we live with pain, there is healing. When our lives seem to be heading nowhere, there's a new start. When we die, there is new life. This Easter, then, Seek afresh the Jesus who burst from the tomb. He's alive. We can know him as a friend. And in that friendship is a wonderful fresh start.